Hey, what's going on YouTube? It is Kyle with Variety and Airs. And in this video, we're going to talk about the history of banknotes. So it's a very important subject to kind of get us to where we are today when we're searching through our wallet, our purse, our pocket, our knapsack, whatever it is we keep our money in, to find valuable banknotes, collectible banknotes, fancy serial numbers, collectible coins, so on and so forth. But how did we get here? How did banknotes start? When did they start getting printed? And when were design changes in implemented? Let's look at uh, all those things in this video and comment any questions you have or any things that I left out. I'd love to learn more things as we go along. Thanks for watching. Born in 1690, Colonial Notes, the first paper currency in the United States, is issued by the Massachusetts Bay Colony to fund military expeditions. Other colonies quickly take up the practice of issuing paper notes. 1739, Franklin's unique Colonial Notes, Benjamin Franklin takes on counterfeiting, using his Philadelphia printing firm to produce Colonial Notes with nature prints, unique raised patterns cast from actual leaves. This process adds an innovative and effective counterfeit deterrent to notes. 1775, Continental Currency. The phrase, not worth a continental, is coined after the Continental Congress issues paper currency to finance the Revolutionary War, currency that quickly loses its value because of a lack of solid backing and the rising of counterfeiting. 1776, the first $2 note. The first $2 notes are continentals and are nine days older than America, believe it or not. On June 25, 1776, the Continental Congress authorizes issuance of the $2 denominations and bills of credit for the defense of America. 1861, Demand Notes. In order to finance the Civil War, Congress authorizes the U.S. Department of the Treasury to issue non-interest bearing demand notes. These notes earn the nickname Greenbacks because of their color. All U.S. currency issued since 1861 remains valid and redeemable at full face value. Also in 1861, the first $10 notes arrive. The first $10 notes are demand notes, featuring President Abraham Lincoln's portrait and issued by the U.S. Department of the Treasury in late 1861. 1862, United States Notes. Congress authorizes a new class of currency known as United States Notes, or legal tender notes. These notes are characterized by a red seal and serial number. They continue to circulate until 1971 and are now very collectible. Also in 1862, the foundation of modern design. By 1862, the demand notes incorporate fine line engraving, intricate geometric lathe work patterns, a U.S. Department of Treasury seal, and engraved signatures to aid in counterfeit deterrence. To this day, U.S. currency continues to add features to deter counterfeiting. 1863, a national banking system. Congress establishes a national banking system and authorizes the U.S. Department of the Treasury to oversee the issuance of national banknotes. This system sets federal guidelines for chartering and regulating national banks and authorizes those banks to issue national currency secured by the purchase of the United States bonds. 1865. The Secret Service. The United States Secret Service is established to deter counterfeiters, whose activities diminish the public's confidence in the nation's currency. Modern-day Secret Service are also tasked with defending high officials and protecting the president. 1869. Centralized printing of United States notes. The Bureau of Engraving and Printing begins engraving and printing the faces and seals of U.S. banknotes. Before this, U.S. banknotes were produced by private banknote companies and then sent to the Bureau of Engraving and Printing for sealing, trimming, and cutting, thus conglomerating all tasks into one centralized location. 1889. Names added to portraits. Legislation mandates that all banknotes and other securities containing portraits include the name of the individual below that portrait. This is why you see the names of the presidents below the portraits on banknotes to this very day. 1913. The Federal Reserve Act. The Federal Reserve Act of 1913 establishes the Federal Reserve as the nation's central bank and provides for a national banking system that is more responsive to the fluctuating financial needs of the country. The Federal Reserve Board issues new currency called Federal Reserve Notes. 1914, the first $10 Federal Reserve Notes. The first $10 Federal Reserve Notes are issued. These notes are larger than today's notes and feature a portrait of President Andrew Jackson on the face. 1918, introduction of large denomination banknotes. In 1918, the Federal Reserve Board begins issuing currency in $500, $1,000, $5,000, 
in $10,000 denominations. 1929. Standardization of design. The appearance of U.S. banknotes changes greatly in 1929. In an effort to lower manufacturing costs, all Federal Reserve notes are made about 30% smaller than their previous counterparts. In addition, standardized designs are instituted for each denomination, decreasing the number of designs in circulation and making it easier for the public to distinguish between genuine and counterfeit notes. 1957. In God We Trust. Following a 1955 law requiring In God We Trust on All Currency, the motto first appears on banknotes on series 1957 $1 silver certificates, then on 1963 series Federal Reserve notes, making them very collectible in modern day. 1969. The End of Large Denomination Bills On July 14, 1969, the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Department of the Treasury announced that banknotes and denominations of $500, $1,000, $5,000, and $10,000 would be discontinued due to lack of use. Although they were issued until 1969, they were last printed in 1945. 1971. United States notes discontinued. Because United States notes no longer served any function not already adequately met by Federal Reserve notes, their issuance was discontinued and beginning in 1971, no new United States notes were placed in circulation. 1976. Reintroduction of the $2 note. On the 233rd anniversary of Thomas Jefferson's birth, and to commemorate the bicentennial of the United States, the $2 Federal Reserve note is reintroduced featuring a new vignette, Trumbull's painting, The Signing of the Declaration of Independence. 1990. Security Thread in Microprinting A security thread in microprinting are introduced in Federal Reserve notes to deter counterfeiting by copiers and printers. The features first appear in the series 1990 $100 notes. By series 1993, the features appeared on all denominations except for $1 and $2 notes. Also in 1990, a Western Currency Facility is born. The Bureau of Engraving and Printing's Western Currency Facility in Fort Worth, Texas begins producing currency. It is the first government facility outside Washington, D.C. to print Federal Reserve notes. 1996. Currency Redesign In the first significant design change since the 1920s, U.S. currency is redesigned to incorporate a series of new counterfeit deterrents. Issuance of the new banknotes begins with the $100 note in 1996, followed by the $50 note in 97, the $20 note in 98, and the $10 and $5 notes in 2000. 2003. The redesigned $20 note. The new design $20 note features subtle background colors of green and peach. The $20 note includes an embedded security thread that glows green when illuminated by UV light. When held to light, a portrait watermark of President Jackson is visible from both sides of the note. In addition, the note includes a color-shifting numeral 20 in the lower right corner of the note. 2004. The redesigned $50 note. The currency redesigns continue with the $50 note, which features subtle background colors of blue and red. The $50 note includes an embedded security thread that glows yellow when illuminated by UV light. When held to light, a portrait watermark of President Grant is visible from both sides of the note. In addition, the note includes a color-shifting numeral 50 in the lower right corner of the note. 2006. The redesigned $10 note. The new design $10 note features subtle background colors of orange, yellow, and red. The $10 note includes an embedded security thread that glows orange when illuminated by UV light. When held to light, a portrait watermark of Treasury Secretary Alexander Hamilton is visible from both sides of the note. In addition, the note includes a color-shifting numeral 10 in the lower right corner of the note. 2008. The redesigned $5 note. The new design $5 note features subtle background colors of light purple and gray. The $5 note includes an embedded security thread that glows blue when illuminated by UV light. Two watermarks are featured in the $5 note, which are visible from both sides of the note when held to light. A vertical pattern of three numeral fives is situated to the left of the portrait, and a large numeral 5 is located in a blank space to the right of the portrait. 2013. The redesigned $100 note. In its first redesign since 1996, the new design $100 note features additional security features including a 3D security ribbon and color-shifting bell in the inkwell. The new design $100 note also includes a portrait watermark of Benjamin Franklin that is visible from both sides of the note when held to the light. 
A special thanks to CoinOp and the CoinOp Facebook group. Without your contributions, Variety and Errors would not be the website or YouTube it is today. Thank you very much.